Let's just look at this cute little puppy under my bed. <laughs> Is my laundry basket in your way? <laughs> oh. Hey y'all, good morning. Today is Wednesday, April 19th. I thought I would do a full day vlog slash full day of eating, I am thinking, and I just thought it would be a fun day to film. Two of my classes got canceled today, or my only two classes are canceled today, so my schedule is I don't know what to do with myself, number one. I still have to go to school for about an hour to fulfill my study abroad mentor hours and drop off some homework, but that is my day and I'm super pumped about it because I have a lot on my plate tomorrow. It's about 10 o'clock. I haven't even had coffee this morning. I am just starting my day off by sipping on some ice water. We are going to run by Target and then I need to go get my thyroid medicine that I have been trying to get filled for like a week at the CVS and it's causing me to feel awful. Last night I fell asleep on Bo at 11.30. I told myself I was going to lay on my bed and play with my phone for a few minutes to breathe. I woke up at 3.30 this morning and was like, oh I am still in my hoodie curled up in a ball between Bo's legs. When I don't take my thyroid medicine, it just literally feels like I have absolutely no energy. So, without further ado, I need to stop talking, get my day started, and I'm going to bring y'all along with me. Can I have a venti black iced coffee mm -hmm. with sugar-free vanilla? Sure and no milk and no classic. Sure. Update, update, 10 out of 10 would not recommend Target if you're looking for a food scale. They're all overpriced and they don't even like weigh all the units. It's just like grams and ounces. You need milliliters as well and fluid ounces. I like that, I like to use those. I did pick up a black coffee with sugar-free vanilla at the Starbucks, so the trip wasn't completely a failure. Now off to CVS to pick up my medicine. I hope, fingers freaking crossed, fingers crossed. <laughs> so productive this morning it's only 11 o'clock and I have done so many errands by the way I just went to Walmart and they have a much better selection of kitchen food scales so come to Walmart if you are looking to buy one and they're the same ones being sold at Target for like $10 less what the heck Anyways, I did not decide to buy a scale though because I didn't want to spend $15 on a scale that I have at home already. So I'm just not going to weigh my food the next couple of days. But I did pick up these super cute hot pink rain boots because my other rain boots have dry rotted. And since these were $24 and they were hot pink and cute, I couldn't resist them. So I am all ready to combat the rain. But now, CVS did not have my meds ready when I went by a couple minutes ago. So I got my car inspected, went into Walmart, got my cute little rain boots, going to pick up my thyroid medicine, and then I'm going to go to school. Yas! I'm trying to convince myself that I have energy because I really don't. Am I tricking y'all? Because maybe this coffee is helping me. Because I don't know when I'm going to get to eat. I guess I'll eat after I go to school and do my little study abroad hours. And there is love bugs everywhere. Oh my golly. 
those are going to be all over the front of my truck so also anyone live in the lake charles louisiana area i'm going to be there this weekend and i am looking for a gym to go to for a day or two while i am there so if anyone has any anything about that area you should let me know down below in the comments because i'm going to be in lake charles for the weekend celebrating I just got home from school for the day. I have a couple of hours that I need to work on my senior presentation that I am giving tomorrow. And then I am going for a practice session to work on that. Right now, me and Bo are outside. I'm trying to get him to go potty, which he is failing at doing. But I am so hungry that I feel like I am going to die. So I think I'm gonna go inside, cook me up some chicken and broccoli. And I am so excited for it. I am so hungry, y'all. You have no idea. <gasps> oh, look at that cute bow. Look at that cute bow. For my first meal of the day, I'm gonna cook myself up one of these lemon herb chicken breasts that have been seasoned. And then I am also going to throw this little steam fresh broccoli in the microwave and probably put some cheese on top of it. Let's go because I'm about to starve to death. I got my broccoli out of the microwave. To fatten it up a little bit, I put a little tablespoon, or a little less than a tablespoon of butter. I'm also going to top it with a little bit of cheese and melt it in the microwave. I should have known better than to not cut up this chicken breast, so a little bit of my pieces are a little crispy, but it's okay, because I'm always scared of undercooking chicken. I sprinkled a little bit of cheese on top of my broccoli, so we're going to heat it up for about 30 seconds, get it all melty. Are you my kitchen helper, Bo? Are you my kitchen helper? That chicken and broccoli were so good, so good. Now, after I, you know, vegged out on the couch for 25 minutes, I am going to work on my senior PowerPoint presentation that I'm giving tomorrow morning. Of course, it is over the ketogenic diet, so hopefully it should be a pretty easy presentation for me. Although I do get nervous when I have to stand up and speak in front of people. We're gonna hope it goes well. I do want some kind of sweet little keto treat. So I'm going to have one of these chalk zeros. So there is 40 calories, um, one net carb and 3.5 grams of fat in each square. These squares are like normal chocolate square sizes. And I actually got those in last month's keto box. They are really delicious. And they're not super bitter like the 86% dark chocolate that I eat. So I like to have one of these squares as a little treat every once in a while. Yes. So what I do is I like break this up into a lot of little pieces and then just kind of suck on each piece while I work on the computer. Makes it last longer. <laughs> It's about 4.20 right now, and I am headed back up to campus. So I have been working on that senior presentation, and I'm doing a little practice session, make sure that it's working on the computers. It always worries me because I have to go from a Mac to a Windows at school. So 
kind of going to go make sure that my presentation will run without a hitch. I haven't even started like practicing and then I also have my calculus exam. So I got a lot to do tonight. <laughs> but I think it'll go well. I hope. I hope. me make this shake and I wanted to do a quick review about this new ketogenic product that is being made by EAS Myoplex. It's this perfect keto shake and it comes as a powder and the macros for it are this this little packet right here it packs a big punch. First things first this little shake supposedly contains the perfect ketogenic ratio. So 75% of the calories come from fat, 20% from protein, and 5% from carbs. There is 400 calories in this little packet, 5 grams of carbs, and that is 5 net carbs. There's 3 grams of sugar, and 20 grams of protein. Well, I made the cinnamon bun flavor and I wanted to give it a try. Let me tell y'all how it tastes. I mixed mine with some cashew milk. It does suggest that you mix it with water, but mixing shakes with water just kind of disgusts me. So I chose to mix it with cashew milk. I also added ice and a little bit of extra cinnamon and that made my keto shake. Let's give it a little try, see how it tastes. So I do taste the cinnamon bun aspect of it. Taste the cinnamon and it kind of tastes like there's like a cream cheesy type of flavor to it. But there's also like a flavor in there that I like can't put my can't put my finger on. I'm assuming it has something to do with like the fat that they've put in here to make the 32 grams of fat in a powder form. Would I use a 400 calorie meal replacement shake like this all the time? No. But for 5 grams of carbs and 3 grams of sugar, writing ketogenic on the front of your packet, you know, that's one-fourth of my daily carbs. And, you know, I could make a cinnamon bun flavored smoothie for probably one carb. So, you know, I'm a little stingy about my carbs and taking away one-fourth of them with this shake, you know, you could do a little bit better on that. That would make me even more inclined to go out and purchase this product. But... That was just a little comprehensive review about the EAS Myoplex Ketogenic Shake by Keto Cat. <laughs> so I found some lime sparkling mineral water. So what I'm going to do is just pour me some in a glass, add a squirt of stevia, and I've got me my little limeade that is keto friendly. So, I made the decision to go to Chewy's Mexican restaurant for dinner, or I ordered it to go, and I got steak fajitas, and one little Mexican food keto hack, I don't know why I've never freaking thought of this before, because usually I order fajitas, and fajitas come with rice and beans, and I always just say, oh no, don't give me that, and usually they still charge you for it. I asked them, I was like, well, do you sell it, like, by itself? And they're like, yeah, we can sell you, like, four ounces or eight ounces with some veggies. And so I was like, well, hell yeah. So I got eight ounces or a half a pound of beef fajitas 
with the fajita veggies and I'm probably going to snack on that for dinner. Yum, 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 yum. Hey guys, so I am actually checking in on Thursday night. So the rest of this video was filmed Wednesday, but I got immersed in studying. I studied for hours and hours and practiced my presentation that I gave. And it has been an <laughs> incredibly stressful day for me. At 8 o'clock this morning, I had a presentation. And then a little while later, I had my quiz. And then I had my calculus exam. And that was just a big old <laughs> stab to the chest. Last night, I did not get a lick of sleep. I am going on like 40 hours of being awake. So I just wanted to film a little closing out of this video. My stress is over. Tomorrow I am headed to Lake Charles and it's going to be a nice relaxing weekend. As always, if I pull out my video camera, we can always count on Bo to start eating in the background. P.S. My room is a disaster because I am packing to move back home. Every time I go home on the weekends, I've been packing up some junk to bring home. So less stuff I have to take in the end. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed yesterday's little follow me around full day of eating vlog. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel down below and I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.